New on AM Extra now, the Portland metro area's newest venue has some pretty exciting news to share. The Patricia Research Center for the Arts in Beaverton has announced the lineup for its inaugural season. Yeah, very exciting. The yeah. live performance series called Research Presents kicks off in September. And joining us in the studio with a preview of the 2022-23 season is Chris Zukian, Executive Director for the RESER. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. Great to see you. Yeah, the RESER opened to the public earlier this year, and how have things been since it opened? It's been pretty amazing. We've had about 30,000 people come through since March. Wow. Uh, lots of festivities in Beaverton, and it's been such a joy. People coming through the center saying, I can't believe this is here. It's so beautiful. I love the programming. It's been really rewarding for all of us to see this, especially at this time coming out of the pandemic and out of isolation. Yeah, well. great timing for that. No yeah. doubt about that. Who are some of the artists that are coming through for this inaugural season? Who can we look forward to? Well, we're launching in mid-September, September 16th through 18th, with none other than Pink Martini with China Forbes and Storm Large. Great. And then we have a vast array of artists from all over the world. We, we talk about bringing the world to our stage in Beaverton. So we have an expanded family series this year with a bilingual Cinderella. We also have a, uh, a few uh, artists uh, joining us uh, 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 locally from different organizations. We're presenting local organizations from the Oregon Symphony to Whitebird Dance to Northwest Dance Project to PDX Jazz. Wow. So you can really see everything. We have a wonderful artist, a uh, blues artist called Amethyst Kia joining us in October. Mm -hmm. We also have a Heart of Afghanistan performance in uh, May. So we're really bringing the best of the world to right here in Beaverton. Really talk cool. about the best of the world. I mean, this is a really state of the art facility. And uh, just talk about some of the features and, and some of what makes the research such a great place to go see your show. Well, at the heart of the facility is a 550 seat stunning theater. Uh, I mean, you can't really, uh, it's, it's the best in terms of sight lines and comfort and you really feel an intimate connection with the artist. And then there's also plenty of space for, uh, we have a beautiful space for arts education initiatives and also uh, for meetings and events. So we're really a place for everybody. That's really cool, really neat. I also like how it's uh, you know just outside of downtown Portland. You know, if you're looking to try to stay outside the city or you want to travel somewhere else, you can you can venture somewhere else. Go to Beaverton to catch one of these these incredible shows. Uh, I love that idea. So when you look into the next few months, I mean, you've been so busy to get to this point, right? What are your goals? What are you looking forward to at at the research center? We're really welcoming everybody. That's mm -hmm. the goal. Uh, really, uh, a place where everybody feels comfortable, like they belong like they see themselves on stage, that's very important for us. As you may know, Beaverton is one of the most culturally diverse cities in all of Oregon. One in five people are born outside of the United States uh, that reside in Beaverton and around in Washington County. So we, we really take pride in that. It's part of our DNA to really welcome everybody and to feature cultures from all over the world. Yeah, uh, to have you here, uh, you know, we've got to mention the, uh, the person that this is named after, the facility that it's named after, Patricia Reeser, uh, you know, her family, no, Reese Fine Foods and, uh, you know, Oregon State Beavers, all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, she's really been a real supporter of the arts over the years as well, too. She has. She has. She's really uh, generous, the family, the Reese family. And we're, we're so blessed to have them amongst our myths here in Oregon. And also the namesake, like you said, of the center. And Pat, for many years, has said, it, along with a grassroots group of community members, has said, we really need more arts access for kids, for everybody, and uh, there's no better time like now to have more arts access, to bring joy to everybody. Absolutely. I think that's great. I think that's great. Real quick, before uh, before we let you go, where can uh, we find tickets for upcoming shows? Yes, we're actually going on sale to the public today at 10 a.m., and you can log on to thereser.org, T-H-E-R-E-S-E-R.org, and get your tickets as soon as you can. All right, Chris, thank exciting. you very much for uh, joining us here on AM Extra. Exciting stuff, great facility. Uh, we followed it all the way from the beginning to now, yeah. so we, we so appreciate much. it. Yeah. Glad you were here. Thanks and if you want to browse through the uh, lineup of performers coming up and get your tickets, go to their website, thereser.org.